Hi there, welcome to my math channel, Math Lab. Let us start question number three from Pearson and Excel A level exam for Mechanics 1. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper FS code is WME01 01. Two particles P and Q have masses 4M and 2M respectively. The particles are connected by light in inextensible string. A second light inextensible string has one end attached to Q. Both strings are taut and vertical as shown in the figure 1. The particles are accelerating vertically downwards. Given that tension in the string connected to the two particles is 3 mg, find in terms of m and g the tension in the upper string. Let me draw these uh, two particles here, P and Q. P has mass 4m and Q has mass 2m. Q has mass 2m. This has mass 2m and uh, P has mass 4m. This is Q and this one is P. Both particles attached with the string here. You know the tension is acting this way always. So this tension tension in the string connecting the two particles is 3 mg. So this tension is 3 mg. So this is 3 mg. The string, the tension in the upper string we will consider as T. Find in terms of uh, m and g the tension in the upper string. Let's say in upper string tension is T. Here draw the forces, the weight forces here as well the weight acting downwards for P that will be 4 mg because weight formula is mg so it will be 4 mg. Here you can draw a weight force for particle 2 m that will be 2 mg. So this is 2 mg. Now if you, uh, we want to find the tension in terms of m and g if you consider the single particle P only here this one if we consider this particle P for P only uh, and also there is one more thing the particles are accelerating down, downwards so acceleration is acting downwards this way is the acceleration so if they are accelerating the, we can apply the Newton's second law the, that is net force is always equals to MA what is the net force that is producing acceleration in particle P? We know that uh, it is accelerating downwards, so downward force is 4 mg, upward force is 3 mg. We will take the difference of these two. That will give you the net force. 4 mg minus 3 mg. The difference of these two forces will give you the net force that is producing the acceleration. The mass of this particle P is 4 m, therefore you can write here 4 m. And acceleration we need to find actually. 4mg minus 3mg is mg is equals to 4ma. m is cancelled from both sides. So a will be equals to 1 over 4g. So this is the acceleration. Now if you consider q particle only, the upper one to find the tension for q. Again we will use the same formula, net force formula that is ma. What is the net force here? The downward forces are, there are two forces here acting downwards on Q. One is 2 mg and other is 3 mg. So 2 mg plus 3 mg is the downward force that is 5 mg minus the upper upward force is T minus T. Mass is 2 m and acceleration we just found it that is 1 over 4 g. Okay. 5mg minus t is equals to, we can simplify these two, 2 is cancelled out, so we can write here 1 over 2mg. We want to find the value of t, move this value right side and bring this one here. So 5mg minus 1 over 2mg is equals to t. And finally, t will be equals to solve 5 minus 1 over 2. 5 minus 1 over 2 will give you the answer 9 over 2. So 9 over 2 mg, 9 over 2 
mg is the answer or you can simplify further it will be 4.5 mg so this is the answer for question number three if you have any doubt please write in a quick box thank you